So our team developed an idea called Global Community Teach, Communa Learn. And um, it's based on something we call edgeless learning. There are no barriers, so we can just share. And um, both concepts that stemmed out of this are based on experience-based learning. So the first model we have over here, Community Teach, Communa Learn, is that you know learners and members from the community that have an expertise in something, whether it be like playing the guitar, maybe they're a doctor, they can be invited to um, a learning audience to share their expertise. And that happens through an online or you know technological forum where everyone can communicate and get together and share. So we're bringing communities closer to learning communities, or I guess communities closer to a classroom or something, so that people can learn from each other and there's no barrier between them. Um, similarly, you can go more global with that um, in the entire world. We have a little globe here and a little globe here, and they're connected. You could be maybe in China or in the United States, and both classes are learning engineering, but we have two little puzzle pieces here, and they're going to connect through a challenge. They both just learned about engineering, but now their job is to build a robot out of the same supplies, and they're going to use what they learned to construct that robot, but they turned out different ways. You can see they're not exactly the same, even though they are built out of the same materials. So, um, and all of this in the middle is the connections, whether it be like a Twitter conversation they had or an, an open educational resource, but there are lots of connections that can happen technologically between those two um, individuals or classes. And something comes out of this to show your learning and to show that you contributed in the community. And Alex is gonna talk about that. Let me introduce Alex. Alex is a, a real great student who, who really put into consideration the design of these badges. So Alex, come up and talk about what these badges are going to look like from the student perspective. Check this out. Um, hi. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I get very nervous. Um, so the badges are pretty much rewards for certain achievements, like these little ones here. <laughs> They show the connections being made. It's pretty much a reward for making that connection with another community between two. And um, this one that our friend here is wearing <laughs> <laughs> represents the success of, of the connections, like to show that they've learned and it was a good connection, it was very positive and all that. And this badge here is to show that You've mastered what you learned, and you know enough about it to reteach it to another community or different person or something. And 